Well, as the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. And for one Alberta teen, the prospect of failing a junior high class was enough to fire up his creative spirit into a, something that could save thousands of lives and perhaps even his own one day. Here's Global National's Francis Silvaggio. Darren Schulte never considered himself much of a scientist in school. I didn't like science at the time, so uh, I had to do a science project to pass science. So instead of building a volcano or documenting the life cycle of a houseplant, the Edmonton area student decided on something more practical. I wanted to make an armored vest that our soldiers could wear in Afghanistan. Right now, our soldiers wear ceramic plates to protect them from enemy fire. They're heavy, fragile, and stop a limited number of shots from a limited number of weapons. Darren believed he could build something better. I'd make a plate in my garage. I'd go out, I would step out the front door, grab my 12 gauge, and I'd blast it. Right on the front deck. <laughs> the very first one you came up with, um, how did it work out? It failed miserably. <laughs> but after nearly five years of trial and error, research, and more research, Darren presented his findings to his high school physics teacher. When I saw it, that's when I knew it, this is beyond science, right? This needs to be in public. Lawrence then knew, then introduced Darren to Martin Baylock, another teacher with a background in ballistics. I went out and I, uh, I shot at it and was immediately impressed because it, my armor can't do what his armor could. This is the same plate that we shot uh, AK rounds at, the 7.62. In fact, no known current armor, including the kind worn by our soldiers, can do what Darren's can. Uh, absolutely <laughs> no bad face that may have What's our plates, you can throw off like a 10 story building, then you can shoot uh, AK rounds at it, and then you can shoot high powered rifles at it all on one plate. And it still protects you? It still protects you. This is 300 Winchester Magnum. Not too bad. An impressive feat, especially since it came from the mind of a student. Every kid has the opportunity to do something. You just have to take the passion that they have and mentor it and mold it, help them mold it into something they can use. Darren has now graduated from high school and has started a company with his teachers to help manufacture and market his invention. Lots of interest here now. Uh, we've been getting calls all over the world. Not bad for a student who originally just wanted to pass grade 9 science. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.